Let's say that I want to match the word validates, but I want to do so whether the first letter is capitalized or not. To do this, I can use a character class. A character class is a weird term that just means it includes every character that you list. You define a character class with brackets. So to get validates, whether it's capitalized or not, you can say grep bracket capital V lowercase v validates and p5validator.py. And you can see here, I have this one lowercase validates along with the other uppercase validates. When you're using a character class, you can also define a range. For instance, if I wanted every letter from A to Z, I could say A-Z. A common range is A through Z, lowercase, A through Z, uppercase, 0 through 9. This will match any letter or number. If I run this, then you can see it matches everything except for the punctuation. Let's say that we want to match any decimal number. Specifically, we have versions in this file, and we want anything that matches 1.1, 1.2, or 1.3. Remember that dot is a wildcard, so if we do grep 0 through 9, dot 0 through 9, you can see there are some false positives. So we need to escape the dot with a slash. And now it is treating the dot literally, because we escaped the dot. Another way to escape something is to put it inside of a character class. A dot inside of brackets doesn't mean any character. Most characters inside of brackets are treated literally. And you can see this has the same effect. There are also shorthands for some things. Slash w is a word character, which is equivalent to a through z, a through z, 0 through 9, and underscore. Backslash d is digit, which is 0 through 9. So the equivalent of what we previously did would just be grep backslash d backslash dot backslash d. And if we did just a plain slash w, then that would have the same effect as the expression we did before, except this also includes underscores. To stress the importance of using quotes when you have special characters, let's see what our previous expression would look like without quotes. Here, it's mash matching any Time there are two D's next to each other. So it seems like the dot was treated as a wild card even though we tried to escape it, and that the D's were treated literally rather than as backslash D, rather than as digits. When you're trying to figure out what something like this is doing, when you're trying to debug a regular expression in grep, it's often useful just to print it out using echo. What echo sees is the same as what grep will see. And here, you can see it did see d dot d rather than backslash d backslash dot backslash d. In other words, the shell was escaping the d, the dot, and the d character, because the shell saw the backslashes, and a backslash is an escape sequence for the shell. Thus, grep never saw the slashes, so it treated the d's as literal d characters. Also, sometimes we want to exclude a character. What if we wanted everything with a digit, something that wasn't a dot, and then a digit? An inverted range is a character class that starts with a caret. So here, if I say digit followed by bracket, caret, dot, close bracket, digit, it will match all the things where there wasn't a dot in between two digits. One common need is to search for something at the start of the line, at the end of the line, or comprising the whole line. For instance, I might want to see any line that's at the top level, not nested in a class or anything. The caret character, when not in a character class, is the start of a line. So to do this, I can say grep caret backslash s p5validator.py. 
Backslash capital S means any non-white space character. Backslash lowercase s means any white space character. So we could have done this just as easily with caret backslash lowercase s. With the shorthand characters, the capital version is usually the inverted range of the lowercase version. Suppose I want to find any line that alters the control flow. In Python, if, else, for, and all those other things end with a colon. The regular expression character referring to the end of the line is the dollar sign. So I can just do grep colon dollar sign. And here it'll give me every line that ends with a colon. If you want to match the whole string, you can have a caret at the start of your pattern and a dollar sign at the end. If you ever expect to match the whole line, it can be good to do this so that the outcome will match your expectations.